Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is going to show you how to create a belt buckle using the Shape Builder tool. The Shape Builder tool is introduced in Illustrator CS5, so you need to be on CS5 or newer to use this tool. And it's a great way to unite or divide shapes as an alternative to the Pathfinder, which a lot of people find confusing. So here's an example of the belt buckle we're going to build, and I want to show you here that these half moon shapes that you see in the center, half circle shapes, are not actually just white shapes sitting on top. If we put something underneath, it's actually cut out of the shape. So it's drawn in reality how an actual belt buckle would be drawn. So we'll come down here, and we've got a couple different shapes that we're going to use to create our belt buckle. So we have the base of the buckle, and then we have the circle which we're going to cut out, and then we have the middle portion which is what the prong would attach to. So I'm going to take these three shapes, and I'm going to align them using my line tool. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to cut this shape out of this shape. Right? So I've got my two, my two shapes selected, my outer belt buckle and the circle that I want to cut out. And I could use the Pathfinder, but instead we're going to use the Shape Builder tool. So I grab the Shape Builder tool. It's about halfway down the left-hand side of your toolbar, Shift-M. And with that selected, as I hover over these, what I first see is a little plus sign next to the uh, tool. Now plus sign means I'm going to be merging shapes together which is not exactly what I want. I want to cut out. So I just have to hold the option or alt key and what that does is it changes it to a minus and then anywhere I click will then be subtracted, minus out of the shape. So I want to cut out this circle so I click on that and it's cut the circle out. Now you'll see if I draw a shape behind there we've got that cut out so that's great. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to merge this into the actual belt buckle so it's not just a separate shape since this would be a molded buckle and it would be all one continuous piece. So I'm going to select these two, grab my shape builder tool, and when I want to merge shapes into each other I can simply click anywhere and I'm just going to have to drag over all portions. So I'm going to click here and I drag through and you can see it kind of slowly starts to give you a preview of what's going to be merged. So that's going to be merged on that side. Now if we come over here I still have a portion on this side that needs to be merged. So I'm just going to click and drag through and now that's all merged. So now I've got this really complex shape that I was able to build using other shapes, cutting them apart, merging them together, and it looks great. I'll then move my prong on top and I've got my belt buckle. So a great way to cut shapes out of other shapes to ultimately create what are called compound paths. Anytime you have a shape with a cutout inside of it, it's called a compound path. Um, great for belt buckles, buttons, zipper pulls, all sorts of trims within the apparel design world. Thanks for watching. This is So Heidi. I'll see you next time.